I am in shock. We are literally poisoning ourselves. Now, I know I've been stupid in the past, and I'm stupid in many ways, but I didn't realize I was this stupid. I've been using a gas stove in my kitchen for the last six months, and I always thought I know the way that gas burns, the fuel, and a lot is left over. Anyway, today, I use my PM 2.5 meter. PM 2.5 is one of the most dangerous pollutants. It's directly correlated with heart disease, heart attacks, early deaths, lower IQ in children, many things that I'm going to show you in a second. So I measured the PM 2.5 levels in my kitchen when the stove was on and I am shocked to see what I found. This is insane. It's maxed out at a thousand micrograms per meter cubed of PM 10 and, and over 600 micrograms per meter cubed I'm breathing in right now of particulate matter 2.5, which is responsible for, I'm sure we will find out a lot more ill health. The further away I walk, the lower down it's gonna go. That's quite worrying to be honest. Now, PM 2.5, particulate matter 2.5, hits the respiratory system. It's the, just the right size, 2.5 microns to cause damage inside the body. Now, there's the, the amount that you're supposed to have in the atmosphere is five micrograms, five one millionths of a gram per cubic meter of air. In my kitchen was 500 micrograms. That is 100 times more than what there should be. And over an hour later, the PM 2.5 monitor is still showing four times more than the recommended dosage. So I'm still breathing in all of that particulate matter. One of the biggest studies ever carried out was the health impact of PM 2.5 by the Global Burden of Disease Study in 2019. They showed exposure to PM 2.5 was responsible for 4.2 million premature deaths. The American Cancer Society study found a strong association between long-term exposure to PM 2.5 and an increase in mortality due to cardiovascular issues. The European study of cohorts for air pollution effects uh, demonstrates a clear link between PM 2.5 exposure and increased risk of cardiovascular and respiratory diseases. The respiratory disease associated with community air pollution in Steel Mill, Utah Valley, showed that levels exceeding 150 micrograms per meter cubed to three times less than what's in my kitchen. Average admissions for children nearly tripled. In adults, it increased by 44%. That's hospital admissions for three times less than what's in your kitchen or my kitchen. This uh, Utah Valley Hospital admission shows a direct correlation with PM10 incre increasing uh, bronchitis, asthma, pneumonia, and pleurisy. And this final, study from the, uh, this final study from Harvard shows the life expectancy decreasing with PM2.5 exposure. So I think it's fairly safe to say this is probably the most pressing, dangerous thing I can imagine doing that I didn't know about. So I would recommend changing your cooker if you can buying one of these or a much cheaper version this is quite expensive you can buy cheap ones on amazon for 20 quid pm 2.5 meter and asking your landlord or changing immediately from that gas stove to an air fryer or an electric cooker okay so an hour later i'm back into the room the uh, the window's open and uh, still this is how much is in the room an hour later